My name is Steve Angle. I'm the Chancellor at the University of Tennessee at Chattanooga. What an honor it is to be here. Um, Chancellor uh, Bill Stacy is here with us today, and uh, I feel like I stand on his shoulders every day trying to continue the great things that uh, those that came before me started. <clears throat> so I appreciate you being here. Um, if I were to give this a title, it would be Constructing a Great University. And uh, I think that will tie together the remarks today. I hope you'll leave here knowing that the state of the university is strong, the sky is limitless, if we are prepared to reach for the stars. So my message today will be one of optimism, hope, and a call to action. There are many great things happening at the University of Tennessee at Chattanooga, and we should all be proud of the achievements that are focused on student success and strong community partnerships and connections. We cannot afford to sit back and reflect on our accomplishments when so much remains to be done. Our vision has to be on our role in a rapidly changing world. Change is our constant, and the increasing pace of change and the disruptive change that are part of our world will be that here for the foreseeable future. UTC is positioned to build on our momentum that will propel us forward for many years to come. And today we celebrate the 132nd anniversary of the founding of our university. In 1969, the University of Chattanooga became part of the University of Tennessee, and we have grown and prospered since then. Much has been accomplished, but more remains to be achieved. This past year has been one of great successes. Our most significant accomplishment was securing a generous gift from Gary and Kathleen Rollins to name our College of Business the Gary W. Rollins College of Business. We celebrated with them yesterday, and what a great day it was. The Rollins investment in UTC is a huge vote of confidence in the direction of the entire university, but most especially in the College of Business. We're entering year four of a five-year strategic plan, and many of the quantitative metrics of our strategic plan follow the Complete College Tennessee Act metrics in the state funding formula. Our strategic plan website has a dashboard for these metrics, but I want to share just a couple of highlights that I think are, are significant. For the past four years, UTC has been the top performing university in the Complete College Tennessee Act outcome metrics four years in a row. What a credit to the talented people here at UTC. Now this past year alone, the year that we're in right now, um, fiscal year 2019, we've gotten an additional $3.6 million in revenue from the state because of our performance in those outcome metrics. So that has real impact in the affordability of a UTC education that we're performing at the top of that. Enrollment is strong and the number of degrees awarded has increased 10% since 2014. Our six-year graduation rate increased from 54% four years ago to 62.2% this past year, second in the state. Contract and grant activity has increased from 9.3 million in fiscal year 2014 to over 12 million in fiscal year 18 a 29% increase. Gifts and pledges have increased from 6.4 million in fiscal year 14 to 57.2 million in fiscal year 18. So we had that $40 million gift, but even when you factor that out, 6.4 million to 17.2, that's a 174% increase in fundraising over that time frame. Wow. <laughs> So our metrics are strongly positive and show that we really are constructing a great university. Maintaining the affordability of a UTC degree is a priority and we strive to hold down our expenses while still providing an excellent education. UTC has held the line on the cost of education with record low tuition increases over the past four years and no tuition increase for this last fall. 
We all need to acknowledge Governor Haslam and the members of the Tennessee General Assembly, particularly our local delegation members who have fully funded the higher education formula the last three years. There's a clear relationship between funding the formula and UTC managing our costs with the low tuition increases. The Greater Chattanooga community has had a strong hand in our success, and I want to acknowledge our city council, count, our county commission, and most especially our mayors. We couldn't ask for two better partners than Andy Burke and Jim Coppinger. And um, we are competing with the uh, opening of Miller Park today. I know people are, are uh, busy. I appreciate you all being here, but our, our mayors are not. But they are incredible partners. Oh, they are. Oh, Andy. I know you were down. Thank you for being here. <laughs> I, I'm glad somebody spoke up. I mean, these are true. These are true public servants, and um, even when I thought he wasn't here, I was wanting to acknowledge him. So thank you. <clears throat> so we see positive momentum uh, with the physical changes on our campus. Three hundred and twenty-three million dollars of building projects over the last five years, with one hundred and forty-four million in planning stages. That's $467 million in projects, nearly half a billion dollars. We are literally constructing a great university. So the people who are UTC have done and are doing an incredible job to position us for success. And do we have any retirees who are with us today? Anybody want to acknowledge? Sheridan isn't here? No? We do have a few. What I want to say is, let's give our retirees a round of applause, because their legacy is going to live on here forever. I also want to acknowledge our current faculty, staff, and students who have done so much already and are doing so much now and are essential to the success of our journey ahead. We appreciate what you do, and you define this institution by your passion to make a difference. I may be the one up here talking, but I'm talking about your accomplishments. I have the honor of working alongside a talented group of academic leaders, deans, vice chancellors who know their business well, the kind of metrics you saw for research, for fundraising, managing almost half a billion dollars of construction projects, um, the life of our campus. These are talented people who are doing an incredible job. And um, I get to talk about all of their accomplishments. There's a lot of discussion today about the value of, co of a college degree. How should we assess a history major as being either prepared to get a job or being prepared to engage in the world's challenges? The answer is a student that excels in the classroom must also engage and contribute in the larger community. A UTC degree prepares a graduate for a career and to be fulfilled as a citizen wherever they choose to live. UTC prepares students to be contributing, engaged members of society. Our advantage is our liberal arts emphasis and the growing greater Chattanooga community. Our future is tied to the future of our community. A UTC education is defined by this liberal arts focus, and our challenge is to expand and enrich this mission. Our definition of student success is a UTC graduate who has the knowledge required to succeed in the workplace and the personal development to know you show up on time, how to collaborate and work with others, and how to execute the steps to complete a project. This is applying knowledge and demonstrating the value that comes with a four-year degree. Where should we make investments in our future? There are a number of factors that influence where we make strategic and measurable academic investments. The goals and aspirations of students, input from our business and community partners, and the dynamic changes occurring in a global marketplace all impact our priorities and decision-making as an institution. Over the past several years, we've identified oppor opportunities to leverage our strengths, 
meet community needs, and incorporate strategic partnerships as we strive to provide an outstanding educational experience. We've identified areas where we have the potential to see huge return on this investment. First, health and wellness. Nursing, occupational therapy, physical therapy, health and human performance, nutrition, athletic training, social work, a new MPH degree, bioinformatics, and so much more. We have a physician's assistant program in the approval process and we're planning a new health science building. UTC will provide a first class learning environment and impact the community's health outcomes working in partnership with the UT School of Medicine, Erlanger Health Systems, the County Health Department, Memorial, Park Ridge, Siskin, and other organizations. Second, modeling, simulation, and data analytics and our Sim Center are areas of strength that will underpin investments in smart cities, urban dynamics, bioinformatics, public health, and more. We've recently launched the Center for Urban Informatics and Progress under the direction of Dr. Mina Sartipi. Initiatives in modeling, simulation, and big data will bring together faculty from New UTC with other universities, external collaborators such as o uh, Oak Ridge National Laboratory, EPB, and the city of Chattanooga. Third, entrepreneurship is thriving in our community and already a strong program in the Gary W. Rollins College of Business. The Rollins gift will accelerate activities in this area to forge linkages across disciplines and colleges. These three areas are tied to the development of new academic programs that will expand research activity and generate contracts and grants to sustain them for the future. Much like a business startup, we see initiatives in these areas as requiring initial investment with an eye towards generating revenue and payback. Our success will be measured by outstanding academic programs and impact on our community. A fourth area of emphasis is growing our teacher education program into one of the best programs in the South. Dr. Renee Murley, who directs our School of Education, is leading UTC's charge to graduate students who are prepared for 21st century classrooms. Together, these four areas are campus priorities that sit on the base of strong, vibrant liberal arts programs, engaging students in active learning, and preparing them to be engaged students of our society. We're constructing a great university. We're making huge progress, but we also face great challenges. Higher education in Tennessee has undergone a significant change over the past few years. The Drive to 55 has been a defining initiative with a goal to increase the number of Tennesseans with a post-secondary degree or credential. The move towards a workforce-ready population requires greater agility in aligning our educational resources with our desired outcomes. Governor Haslam has spoken of higher education speedboats and battleships. Speedboats react quickly and respond to change easily. Public four-year universities are viewed as battleships, failing to adapt and respond to a rapidly changing world. UTC must strive to embrace change and challenges, look for ways to cut through the bureaucratic red tape, adopt new models of curriculum delivery, and embrace new metrics of success beyond the traditional degree where badges, certificates, and workshop experiences provide the required edge for an individual or a business. To realize the potential of our future, we must have the strength of a battleship and the agility and flexibility of a speedboat. Our partnerships with business must move at the pace of business, not with what can seem like a glacial academic pace. New programs and initiatives must come online quickly and show impact or be discontinued. We need to stop doing things that are not working to free up resources for the things that are working. Disruptions are already the norm. Our goal is to be on the cutting edge of delivering outcomes that are geared toward where we are going and not to hold on where we have been. We either face our challenges and take them head on or wait for external factors to shape our world. We must view change and disruption as an opportunity and embrace it. 
At UTC, we plan to engage in rethinking the higher education model and defining the new cutting edge. As we engage the disruptions, we know there will be speed bumps along the way. By aligning our resources and sharing publicly the value of a UTC graduate with the skills for a job and for contributing to community, the future is bright. Another way to achieve and enrich the drive to 55 is for every student to complete an external, outside of the classroom learning experience before graduation. This is goal 1A of our strategic plan. The first goal, the first item. Bridges Beyond the Classroom connects classroom instruction with hands-on learning. Through our Honors College, undergraduate research experiences, programs in each of our colleges, departmental programs and initiatives, and Think Achieve, UTC students are connecting their classroom experiences with practical learning experiences. As we strive to provide an outstanding educational experience for every student, we must pay attention to the entirety of their UTC experience. More students are living within walking distance of campus, and this will provide additional opportunities for them to participate in the life of the campus. The clubs, organizations, lectures, seminars, performances, events, All of these experiences enrich an education for our students and they make UTC the best place to get a college education. I often say UTC is a wonderful place and a beautiful campus, but UTC is people. UTC is all of us that are here today. Our graduates, our faculty, our staff, our students, and the people in our community who engage and connect, who help us educate our students and who invest in the future with us. Our students are our future, and together we are constructing a great university. Thank you very much. This time last year, we were uh, just across the, what is now a parking lot um, for the 2017 State of the University Address, and we decided to come back here, um, hopefully still in the shade for most people, um, for 2018. But in the last 12 months, we've seen a lot of change. Um, we now have almost 560 students in the 600-bed residence hall. Um, it has uh, completely transformed this neighborhood. 600 beds, food options, dippers, Einstein bagels, a branch of the UTC bookstore, um, two levels of parking underground. And you, you won't be surprised to hear that the completion of this project required the hard work of many people, some of whom are with us today, and I, I'd like to recognize, but first, the concept for this housing development. Four and a half years ago, when we first started talking about it, the campus had a plan which call, called for this housing to face the arena and to put parking over here along Vine Street. Kim White and Macon Toledano deserve a huge shout out for their help in imaging, imagining what can be. This original thought to put our housing complex facing the arena turned into an opportunity to energize Vine Street with our community, to leverage our investment with investments of our community. Working with urban planners and property owners on Vine Street, most notably Unum, we, we designed a project that will energize Vine Street. And Kim and Macon helped UTC see the potential of making an investment in synergy with our community one where the impact of multiple projects is far more than the sum of those individual investments. River City has had a, a huge impact on Chattanooga. I've seen so many things on the drawing board since I came here. Um, now a reality, to have this one be a reality is just phenomenal. I know Kim walked in, I saw her walk by, and Macon Toledano is also here. Um, thank you for what you did.
So this project is an example of how our strategic plan, the, the path we're charting for the future, is tied to our community. Working together, we really are building a great university, the best mid-sized city in America, and county, region, and state. So I want to acknowledge a, a few people with UTC facilities. Um, maybe you can stand when I call you out. Tom Ellis, Danny West, Kenny Tyler, and with UT facilities, John Seeley. I don't know if John's here. Jason Hoare, or Jason Bennett with Hoare Construction. I almost gave you the whole company, Jason. Um, and with DHW Architects, Ray Boaz. We had a really talented group uh, of people working on this project. Our housing uh, and student affairs staff and leadership, Vice Chancellor Yancey Freeman, his predecessors, John Delaney, Dee Dee Anderson, our uh, facilities crew that um, has done so much with this. I know that our IT staff worked around the clock to get this dorm connected and online before students moved in. Everybody gave a little extra effort to get this done on, pro on time so students could move in. And so a thank you to all of them. And thank you to the person behind the scenes guiding all of this. Uh, a very special thank you to Executive Vice Chancellor for Business and Operations, Dr. Richard Brown, who really kept this on track, kept all the pieces together, and did a phenomenal job. Thank you, Richard. <laughs> now, when you're looking at a hard deadline of students moving in, um, I don't build buildings for a bil uh, living, but I can imagine it was a real um, something to worry about, um, whether we get uh, in on time when you have things like the weather and uh, supporting a building of this size, not knowing what's underneath when you really start out. So we will now do a ceremonial ribbon cutting to dedicate this new West Campus housing complex and the bookstore and the food services inside. And following the ribbon cutting, UTC birthday cake, 132 years, uh, will be available behind you. Um, please in, enjoy the treat um, as we celebrate 132 years as an educational institution. It's uh, a huge milestone for us and it looks, you know, to me, the best is yet to come. Um, tours of the housing complex will be available after the ribbon cutting. I encourage you to, to go through this housing complex. It is beautiful. Um, you want to come back to school. Um, and a tour will take about 20 minutes and um, they're limited to groups of 15 to so get on the elevator. So um, please go ahead and, and go on a tour. And now join me at the doors to your right for a, uh, a ribbon cutting uh, ceremony. Thank you for coming.